Good morning, YouTube and my fitness pal. This is DMV Butterfly. It is Tuesday, I believe the 26th of July, and today is day three. One, two, three. Day three of my ab core challenge for myself. Again, I will not be posting videos every day. However, I'm posting a video um, a few this week just so you guys can get an idea of some of the ab exercises that I'm doing. Yesterday I did reverse crunches. Um, I'm just going to talk about yesterday because it's not even 6 o'clock in the morning yet and I forget what other ones I did. But today I'm going to, for the first day I did standing abs. Yesterday I did all floor ab exercises and today I also did all floor ab exercises. So we're going to get into what I did. And I also used a weight, um, weights to do some of the floor exercises. Um, I put away, I actually did all of mine. I'm just showing you guys what I did this morning. I actually had an eight pound medicine ball earlier. This is a five pound kettlebell. I showed you guys the 10 pound one on Sunday. So this is what I did. And I'm going to show you variations on what you can do with this. This is just twisting from side to side. You can take the weight, put it on the floor beside you. So we stop starting. One. Two. Three. Okay? That's how some people may count it. I go up to 15, then I do did three sets of those. This is a five pound. I did it with an eight pound. However, the further you go back, the more you're engaging your abs and it's harder. Also, another way to make it more engaging, which is the way that I did it, is to go back and lift your feet up off the floor. Twist. Twist. That's more. Bait. Bait. In addition, the last part to this is some people are not going to be able to go around to touch the weight on the floor. Just go over it as far as you can. Okay? Even if you're here with it, you're still getting engaging your core. Okay? So that's one exercise that I did for three sets of 15. I did mine with an eight pound medicine ball, feet off the floor, and I was touching the weight to the floor for three sets of 15. The other exercise that I did, and that's for your um, upper abs, that exercise is. The other exercise I did was for my obliques. Lay back on the floor. Okay, this is a better shot than yesterday. Lay back on the floor. Whew. And I did. You can also do what I just did without weights. You can do this one without weights. Okay? This one I did the sides without weights. These are for your obliques. And I'll do this side. I come over, back down. Over, back down. Both arms are up. And then over to the side, back down. My, I did my right shoulder is on the floor. My left shoulder comes up and over to the side. You're working your obliques. I did that for three sets of 15 without a weight. You can also do it with a weight in your hand. It can be a free weight. This is the kettlebell over to the side for 15. Some people do these and they don't bring their shoulder back down to the ground. I bring mine back down to the ground. Or you can just pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. You'll feel it all in your sides, okay? Now this is the one that I do. Same thing, but I'm not going over to the side. I'm going to bring it up to the middle, okay? And I'm going to do three sets, sets of 15 right here with you guys because I did not 
do these in the middle, and this is my last one. So I did three sets of 15 of the um, sitting up, moving to the side, three sets of 15 to the left, three sets of 15 to the right. Okay, and now I'm about to do the middle, and that's going to be it for my core today. All right, you guys rock it out. What I'm going to show you, I have to do two more sets of those, but I won't do them on camera. What I'm going to show you is stretches after you um, work out your abs. Hands over your head, knees up and together, my feet right on the floor. Take your knees over. Stretches out your obliques, your upper abs, and your lower abs. Hold it. For about 10, 15, you can hold it longer if you want. Knees back up, over to the other side. Stretch that out. One of the best um, stretches that I can do when I'm exercising my abs, my core, sometimes I get a crazy cramp. Roll that over onto your stomach. Hands on the floor like you're ready to do a push-up, but you're not ready to do a push-up. you just up and you're stretching out your core. All of this in here is stretching. Get rid of a cramp if you get a cramp. Chin up. Back down. Do it again. I should be doing these after I'm finished, but I wanted to show you guys some stretches. I'm going to do three more sets, two more sets of 15 of the ones in the middle. Last stretch up in the air and hold it. Take it over to one side. Hold it. Back up to the middle. Opposite side. Okay, and those are some stretches for your abs. I can show you some other ones another time. I'm going to rock out my last two sets of 15. I'll leave the camera on. Why not? Um, I should have stretched afterwards, but for those of you who don't want to watch me do um, my ab exercises, you guys can go. That's pretty much what I did. I'm going to um, my abs for today. I also walked. I walked up hills. That also engages your core and um, helps to um, tighten up your stomach and improve your breathing. All right, last two sets of 15, and then I'm going to get ready for work. Set of 15, and I'm done, 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 done. Ab exercises don't have to be so excruciating, which is what, for the most part, I've always experienced it as, but I'm just going to do these lightly, take my time doing them, instead of like, uh, 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 trying to push it out and force things the way I have done in the past. Last set of 15, this is Ab Core Challenge Day 3 for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ab Core Challenge Day 3. Am I only doing abs? No. I'm getting a full body workout in, but many times I don't do my abs or either, you know, I'm exercising other parts, parts of my body more. So this is what it is. All right, guys, have a great day. I'm about to go get ready for work.